to go all in next year. You know? There's no more excuses uh, like we didn't have success last year, the club didn't have success the last few years. So I think next year, no, it should be, it needs to be big for us. I had a bit longer break without football. I didn't play that much football in the last maybe two years. And I came from India where the intensity is not that high like here, so I got my kind of my foot on the ground in the last couple of weeks in the last season. But I I decided not to not to have a break to be honest. I wanted to work on my body to get in the best possible shape for the for the first day of pre-season. So yeah, I, I think I'll have enough enough time to have holidays after the career. The, your career is short, so you want to take the most out of it. Yeah, it's always hard. I mean, I, because of injury, I skipped the last two games. One of them were not that important, but the second one was pretty important, especially for the next year, for the Australian Cup. It was hard to watch them on the, on the, in the stands and not being able to help. And it's always hard to be injured. There's never a good time to, to get injured, but I think kind of when you, as you get older, you kind of more mature and you, you know how to handle it better. So yeah, I saw it as a kind of a little forced break, but that gives me time to, to work on my body, to get my strength up and to fix some parts of my body so I can, I can be much, much better next year than I was this year. It's always hard the, the first couple of weeks, you know, it's a bit lethargic and you do just gym work or just some rehab uh, rehab exercises, but now I'm through, through that. I'm already on the field, you know, do a, doing a lot of running and now we're introducing some ball work, so I'm well on track, I feel much better, much stronger and yeah, I'm pretty close to being full of fit, which is exciting and I have a lot of, I have a few more weeks until the pre-season starts, so I'm, I'm really happy where I am right now.